50 Shades at Sea. Explosive sex-fueled photos of one of the women claiming she was adrift in the South Pacific for five months. It's a tale of a cougar dominatrix living a polyamorous lifestyle with a younger lover. Daily Mail's exclusives editor Candace Trunzo has the titillating details. This story has so many plot twists, it will make your head spin. It started out a rescue at sea. Jennifer Appel and Tasha Fuiyava setting sail for Tahiti from Hawaii when they say a horrific storm ravaged their boat and set them adrift. The women were rescued by the U.S. Navy. It was the first time they set foot on solid ground for nearly six months. But Coast Guard and weather experts report the women's harrowing sea story is a bit fishy. According to meteorologists, no storm happened when and where the women say it did. And although they were making daily distress calls, the two women never activated their boat's emergency beacon with signals that can reach authorities within seconds. Just doesn't add up. Everyone thinks that there is something fishy about this water tail of theirs. Um, and what it is remains to be seen. The pair and their pets were finally picked up about 900 miles southeast of Japan in relatively, some might say, suspiciously good shape. All indications are that the women are in great health. They seem happy. Now, Daily Mail has learned that Jennifer Appel has a checkered past, and our Daily Mail exclusives team has the pictures to prove it. Jennifer had uh, another career, a career that nobody knows about, and that was as a dominatrix. She was an erotic dancer. Jennifer is definitely a cougar. Jennifer had a 26-year-old lover. She's 48 years old. Roman Kalinowski is a professional blackjack player, he's a DJ, um, and they were living in a polyamorous relationship. They were uh, involved with more than one or more lovers. Kalinowski said she was not an experienced sailor, and in fact, uh, a few years ago, she had taken another boat out, and it ended up on the rocks, crashed, destroyed. She owes Roman $9,000. None of her friends that we spoke to in Hawaii were surprised that this happened to her. They think that it was something that may have been planned, and they think that a book deal or a movie is part of that plan. And it's not the first time Appel has tried her hand at writing. She wrote um, erotic novels, one of them about uh, a lesbian couple, about a threesome, and in fact, one of them takes place on a boat. So the plot thickens here. Whether this tale is true, partially true, or just a publicity stunt, people can't get enough of this story. Stay tuned. For more on Jennifer Appel and her former boyfriend, Roman Kalinowski, go to DailyMail.com.